That full of putting downs and chinos. Hey, <laughs> oh, uh, oh, 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 big guy. We're only hey. joking. <laughs> it's not a character, this place. Yeah. It's a space, too. I live in a box in a silver steel development. Well, hard and green, though, it's the place to be. <laughs> Look. I know what you've been doing. You've been talking, haven't you? No. <laughs> of course you have. A tractive, separated, a tractive, newly separated man leaves the room after laying down some fairly heavy shit. You don't just talk about the weather, do you? You want to help? I know. You have got a clean face. And you're right, Tony. Of course, be positive. It's a no-brainer. I just can't. I'm dead. I live for you. I channeled all my hopes and dreams into one fickle woman's body. Perhaps as a result of my autistic failure. No, it's not failure. Well, my disappointment then. I just can't help myself with that. I'm just so full of sexual love. You know, I wanted it to be perfect, Donnie. Did you do that early on with my head, with Donnie, eh, Mike? Eh? When you first realised you'd landed a girl out your league? <laughs> well, it depends what you mean. Well, I was attentive. And not just sexually. Well, I still am. I'm a good listener. Say something, Louis, and I'll listen. Go on. Say something. I want to go to America. <laughs> Your sports love, so. And now that man... Uh, she died. You never told us. No, oh, well, I mean, she's been on the hill for a long time. Uh, it was a great relief to everybody. No, it wasn't. Uh, I hear my people say yeah, that. Well, obviously, it was very emotional for her. She was my mother. Yes, I know she was so your mother. So can I stop saying that? Oh, no, no, no. The last thing I want to do is cause you guys stress. Not you. Oh, no, 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 don't. Uh, uh, God, you can, uh, <clears throat> Yes. Thank you. For her age. You're frightened of losing her? Um. In the USA. What do you mean? Well, it's very difficult. You can't change a woman's view. No. You see, if you try to prevent her from straying, that might be the very thing that makes her stray. Mm -hmm. I tried it with Sasha. She warned us, but I didn't listen. I told if I persuaded her to marry us. And I was wrong about you as well. Having it all. Dawny leaves in your way. Fuck, don't you? Oh, it's big, it's big. House with all those rooms to cry in, huh? Wait, so, waiting for Damien to throw you on the scrap heap. Um, what do you mean? Uh, it's very... Uh, Sir, presumably, uh, she doesn't know. What? I suppose it was bound to happen. A moth to the flame. In the shadow of the photo couple. Which would not leave much space, but then again, she does enjoy sex in confined spaces. And open spaces. Well, anywhere, really. With anyone. Well, <laughs> almost anyone. I don't understand. You and Sasha? Last Christmas, the Vapor Graphics room. Oh, uh, oh, oh, I don't know what you told you, but nothing happened. <laughs> you expect me to believe that? Uh, well, it's true. <laughs> and so you, don't uh, you, you, don't, you don't find her attractive. Look, please, just keep your voice down. <laughs> you do, don't you? And everybody does. Well, nothing happened. I don't know. She told me. Even she draws a line somewhere. But you would have done more, wouldn't you? No, I don't know, it was just flirting. Uh, These games, you can never be sure when they're going to stop. I just see it. They're leading you on. <laughs> you mesmerised and desperate for more. Well, it would have been more, though, if it, it should let you, wouldn't it? No. Uh, a cheap hotel? Huh? No. A room somewhere? As she told us, Mike. Come on. What did you have in mind, Mike, eh? Come on, Mike. Um. Come on, tell me. I need to know, is your attic boarded out? No, it isn't. No. What's the matter with you? No. Well, I'm going out. Great. What? Um, off to Cowan.
runs out. Oh, Jinx, did you have to? Yes, well, I might as well go and see her. Well, right, Mikey, I was telling us about all this, uh, this place, all these empty rooms. Uh, this corn here. Yeah. I could paint here. Yeah. What? Yeah. Charmed by suburbia. What do you mean? Well, a little attic room, like Van Gogh. You don't have one. I need to paint again. Now. I don't want to end up like Mike here, sitting in an office waiting for Damien to decide what I'm past my best. Well, is that what he thinks? Well, it'll happen one day. You see, Mike here is worried about outsourcing. Huh? So, man, my wife's outsourcing our sex life and people are putting in unsolicited bids. I thought about suicide, you know, quite recently. But painting, like you said, Mike, yes, like you said, it might help. It's your son and his football show. Uh, and this Joanne, isn't it? Uh, I can see the resemblance. The eyes. She seen anyone at the minute? Uh, not that we know of. Uh, that has nothing to do with you. You might. Excuse me. He's getting worse. He just needs handling. Told you you was wanting to stay. Last thing you need to do is stop talking about boarding out the attic for him. I didn't. You seem to think you were. Look, right, over here, look. He's upset and yet. Why? I'll get rid of him. Why don't you just trot along the calendar? Oh, no, no, I'm not, not sure I can trust you here on your own. Uh, that's ridiculous. No, you're too worried about what he'll <laughs> say at work. Well, what do you expect? He is the gatekeeper to the outsourcing team. Um, he has Damien's ear. I don't care whose ear he's got. I want him out. You can't just throw him out on the street. But he's got a flat, no matter how sore it is. Right, you could go to bed, then he might take the hint. Right. Where is he now? I don't know the toilet, I expect. God, again? Well, he's sitting here away from brother, didn't he? He gives out far too much unnecessary information. I've never seen this side of him before. What? I don't like the idea of him wandering round the house. Oh, shite. He's going. Are you sure? Yes. He's just got into his car. You see what you've done? <sighs> Didn't you say goodbye? And he's left his bag. Hey, 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 hey. Leave that alone. That's private. I'll take it in for him tomorrow. Mm, get some more brownie points with the outsourcing and tea. Look, this is a pivotal time, Dawn. I need to play these people. But how exactly are you doing that? Or did he offer you a job when I wasn't looking? I need to cultivate my business relationships. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. sorry. <clears throat> He will win who knows when to fight and when not to fight. What? And when you move, fall like a thunderbolt. Like a thunder, fall like a thunderbolt. Ashes of love. Appropriately enough, where it all ends. We thought you'd gone. No, not to get rid of him that easily. Oh, He's close. close. Or by the front door. Oh, will you put them back? Oh, no probs, Dorney. Of course I will. On your way out. And my name's Dawn, not Dorney. Oh, fiery. Hey, not quite Sasha, but uh, I'm sure Sparks would have flown at one time. And uh, you can take that with you. Um. Ah! You feel the artist's time should not be given for nothing? Well, I tell you what, perhaps we should go out, Ross. Uh, Dawn wants to go to bed now. This is no, I've got it! I've got it! My only proviso is I should be consulted as to the hanging and framing of it. Uh, we could specify it in the housing agreement. Yeah, it's best to get these things in writing. You're not listening. And neither are you, Tony. I'm saying, you can have it in lieu of rent for the first quarter. We don't want a lodger. I know, Tony, I know, but I can hardly ask you to put me up for nothing, can I? No, you bloody well can't! You are a strong-minded woman. I like it. My kid's a little mealy-mouthed at times, which makes me mistrust him. 
What you like to do, we need to agree on an amount. You tell him, Mike. We need to go to bed. It's half past eight, and you've been married for 20 years. Oh God, we want you to go. Listen, we're serious. <laughs> Piss off. Oh, oh, oh. Where's this come from? What me telling you? Well, you said something ambiguous about going to bed, but... Well, you can't. You can't. You can't. I can't leave now. You've taken my deposit. No, what happened? Mike. Let's see yourself. Look, it might be best if you left. Uh, if you send me back lard and green, I don't know what I'm going to do to myself. That is emotional blackmail. Or it would be if we could. Oh, please, they're not somewhere else you could go. I mean, I could phone the travel lodge for you. They're bound to have rooms. Do you get? You're kind. Both of you. Kind up into a point. A point where you say, piss off. To a lonely, desperate, suicidal man on his birthday who wants nothing more than a floor to sleep on. Is it your birthday? Well, not today. <laughs> Stupid manipulation! Out! Now, take your shitty picture with you! Huh? What do you know about art? Eh? With your badly framed photos of your children? You know I'm right, Mike. Small-minded like so many other women of our generation. Is that what drew you to Sasha? Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, so different to Sasha. So mm -hmm. different to Sasha. Yeah, look, uh, Dawn's right. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. That's a fucking... No, no, no. Would you believe it? I've lost my keys. I just got the directions wrong there. Right? Well, can we go back or not? No, I'll just go. Uh, right, okay. Uh, would you believe it? I've lost my keys. Wait, get on the phone. No, 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 no. See, uh, I flushed them down your toilet. On my last visit. Well, I didn't think they'd go, but they did. Are you sure? Oh, oh, oh yes. Powerful flush you got there. Is that the same in your own suite? There's nobody else got a key. Look, I'll find you. I'll just be fine on the settee. This is our house that we want you out. It's all about you, isn't it? Oh, right. No, Mike, come on. No more messing around. Get his arms. He's leaving whether he likes it or not. Well, come on. Right. <laughs> ah, true colours at last. Sasha would be impressed now, Mike. Better this than the sad office lech. That's cool. And you don't, oh, it's cut, isn't it, right? You don't care, you wouldn't care if I slit your throat. Yeah, and you. Uh, true colours at last, and you don't care. You wouldn't care if I slit my throat and bled the death right in front of you. As long as it wasn't on my carpet. <clears throat> no decision, Dawn. Lanny, it is. Some things are beyond repair. You can't repair Scottish birds blasted out of the air by a shotgun. Some pain doesn't go away. Oh, yeah, that's some pain doesn't go away. Now, we could talk more. I think it's time for you to go. <laughs> I think it's time for you to go. I hope we start acting in a, in a psychotic fashion. Right, come on, John. What, we're not going. Oh, we're, we're, we're ringing the police. What's the fire brigade again? Look, well, must be reasonable. I am. For reasons best known to myself, I've given you the chance to get out before I immolate myself in a family home. I'll never know. Please! You don't care. Nobody does. What about Sasha? Are you trying to make this worse? She should know. She, she wouldn't care. She still don't get it, dear. Oh, sorry. You still don't get it, dear. Try her. She'd listen to you now. Bound to like this. She won't pick up my calls. Just ring her, please. Why don't you try? My name in the display. Well, use mine. If you ring her on my phone, let me speak to her first. How have you got her number? Oh, oh fuck! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Look, if you use my phone, I thought we were just... Have you got a number? Have you got, how have you got a number for you? Right. How have you got a number? Oh, don't tell me she's had you as well. Don't. What? For God's sakes, I've never met the woman. <clears throat> but if you use my phone to ring her and then I'll speak to her first, She should know what's happening. I'm covered in petrol. I poured it on myself. If you want to know, yeah, of course I do. Talk, yeah. Right. Okay, yeah, yeah, brilliant. Right, there that's right. <laughs> hey, would you believe it? There was jealousy in her voice. Oh, she's put us through. I don't want to say that. Oh, but that's how you stay together. You forgive, don't you? Uh, like, that's how couples stay together, like you and Mike here. Yeah. Uh, and don't worry, it'll be different this time. It has to be. Yes, but you need to get back and cleaned up. And I'll start on my ground. To be quite honest, I've been finding it quite a, quite a bit of a stress lately, this whole sleeping around thing. I mean, anybody would, wouldn't they? Yes, of course. Could have died there. Unpleasantly. Very unpleasantly. You've saved us. Yeah, well, it's fine, mate. Um, you know, anything to help. Uh, I'm sure you've done exactly the same. Oh, Mike. Mike, I'm sorry, man. Look, look, I keep cards on the table. I, I came here thinking that we were enemies. You want to help us? And I've thrown it back in your face, man. I, I haven't acted well towards you. And all of this thing about Sasha. It's fine. It, and the outsourcing team, he wants in. Yeah, yeah. You, you do, don't you? Um, well, yes, yes. <laughs> it's the safest place to be if you're worried about getting outsourced yourself. <laughs> one smart cookie, this one. <laughs> I, I was thinking about approaching Damien, but... No, no. No need. <laughs> you see, I've got a feeling he's going to be calling you about it very soon. Really? <laughs> <laughs> We're a tight little team. Your face needs to fit, you see. And... And I've seen yours in a different light, isn't it? And it's not an obvious face, but mm. I can see how it would be. You could be a player. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tony, you need to keep tight hold of this one. Mm. <laughs> Otherwise, next time in the week. A, a gift. No. No. Oh, Otherwise, no. next time in the week. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, I don't know. I'm on. That's what we did this morning. Yeah, um, otherwise, next time in the re 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 graphics room, oh, if you. What? Uh, nothing. Oh. Uh, it was nothing. Mike was drunk, Sasha was in a tight skirt, and she was just playing with him. Uh, he got no further than suggesting a room in the travel lodge. Oh, that's me the one, I think. Yeah. See you on the outsourcing team on Monday.
Job done. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps we should have Davian around next time, you know, to keep up the momentum. No. <laughs> what? Nothing. You, you could write a sequel to this, eh? You could dedicate it. You could dedicate it to Ross and Sasha. Look, it was nothing. That was just a stupid drunken thing at a party. In the travel lodge? Well, it would, it's just the kind of thing you do. I mean, you see it, you know. No. Well, well, I wouldn't have... Well, you know what? When push comes to shove, that... Oh, there's no point. Is that whatever I say, you're not going to believe it. Oh, no, no, come on! Um, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, it's all down. Well, well, look, it's like... You know, if you find yourself in a tight corner, then you've got options. Option one... Oh, for God's sake, it's not about tactics, Mike. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm going to Karen's. Yeah, but... I'll, I'll come back and then pack it back tomorrow. I'm going to pick up the book. That's not going to work. I'm going to Karen's. Let's Um... Work. I know. Go on. What? <sighs> Mike. What? Careful with that chair. Sometimes I uh, confuse myself. Say why? Because of me. Well, have you told her this? No. Good. Right. Well, whatever you do, don't. Never crawl. No. If Sasha rings, I'm gonna blank her. I can see I've got a job here. Yes. So, what, what, what do you mean? Well, I'm, sta I'm staying. Hey. The, the state you're in, I can't risk leaving you on your own. The outsourcing mafia look after each other. And, what we need, what we need is a night for the lads. Aye. Booze, porn, pizzas. Uh, uh, oh, hey, what about clubbing it? Uh, too soon. Oh, that's it? Hookers? <laughs> well, I know this guy, right? Uh, I know this guy. This is... This is going to be a mint, and I'm paying for it. Are you for real? No, no, it's on me. Look, no, you, you're a made man. We'll look after ourselves on the outsourcing team. It's a great one. It's going to be like a big old student house. And I can win demo and get some tooth. Oh, this is going to be a uh, Yes. Well, actually, um, can I just 
change um, in your cheek. Can I go commando in your chinos? <laughs> After I've changed, you move on that lines of blood stuff, you see. After I've changed is when you stood, I think. I, um, I can bring Damo and get some uh, cool. Or oh, after I've changed. Uh, you don't mind if I go commando in some of your chinos, do you? Yeah, well, you know, actually, actually, I do. <laughs> well, you don't understand, man. Look, I do good. not want you here. You know, there was a moment there before, with the fumes and the adrenaline, with you and Dorney shouting, my head full of Sasha, I had like an outer body, just calm. A moment where I was just staring at a petal haze on my skin, like it was asking for the flame and I thought, why not? Like a trance. That would do. You know what I thought? Joan of Arc. <laughs> Standing there, dripping with petrol, thinking I was Joan of Arc. Could happen again. No! You pretend to piss in people's cupboards. And then you hide the keys down the side of chairs. So you don't have to go home. That is not Joan of Arc. That is a lonely man in customer services who, whose wife's just left him. And believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Now, I need to shift this. Oh, and uh, sorry, do you want to take this shit with you or shall I just throw it out with the rest of the rubbish? You said you like it. Well, that was tactics. Uh, oh, and while we're at it, the outsourcing team. If you did mean it... I did, of course I did. Good, then forget it. What? Are you mad? No, no, I am prioritising. Apart from anything else, what do you think Damien's going to do when the outs uh, to the outsourcing team once there's no one left to outsource? Hmm? Now, I need to outsource this before there's an accident.